So when we get this first set of T1 weighted images, the reason why different tissues are looking different on T1 weighted images is because they are plotted on the basis of differences in their T1 relaxation time. It's actually quite simple. So when you, we get different tissue contrast based on differences in T1 relaxation times, it is called T1 weighted sequence. So what the computer does is actually there's a digital number for the, there's a, a number for the T1 relaxation time of each tissue and that is converted by grayscale into this grayscale image. Each digit is converted into a certain shade of gray. So the reason why CSF looks black, white matter looks white, gray matter looks gray, fat looks white on a T1 weighted image is because they each have a different T1 relaxation time. A T2 weighted image is an image where there is varying tissue contrast because of differences in the T2 relaxation time. After T1 and T2 weighted images, we obtain what is called gradient imaging or susceptibility weighted imaging. So let me explain what this does. Susceptibility is an artifact. It is an artifactual loss of signal or blackness, profound blackness on an MR image due to diamagnetic, paramagnetic or ferromagnetic substances. Example of a diamagnetic substance is calcium, yes. Classic example of a paramagnetic substance is blood and blood products and ferromagnetic substance is metal. So all of these look profoundly black because they produce an artifact called susceptibility. And when we see that artifact on a susceptibility weighted sequence, we know that we are seeing either a diamagnetic substance like calcium or a paramagnetic substance like blood. 